Another tragic reminder of what can happen if a child is left in a hot car. A South Florida toddler is dead after Broward County deputies say this child was left in a van parked outside of a daycare center yesterday. This is the 24th hot car death this year. Four happened right here in Florida, one in Jacksonville. In May, four-month-old Brooklyn Isaac died after police said she was left in a van parked outside the Ewing's Love and Hope Daycare Center on the city's west side. Daycare's co-owner and van driver, the man you see on the right, was arrested and charged. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding has more details on these tragic deaths and also the push for new legislation to prevent these future tragedies. Daryl Ewing has been charged with child neglect. Now his arraignment has been postponed several times. The latest one is scheduled for this Thursday. Looking here at the former daycare center, you can see even the sign has been removed and is now behind that fencing. Now this tragedy and other similar incidents are a reminder that this can happen. The city of Jacksonville was horrified to learn four month old Brooklyn Isaac died after being left in a hot daycare van just two months ago as the case against the man charged in connection with her death moves through the court system. More tragedies are happening here in Florida and nationwide. Yesterday, police in South Florida said a two year old child died inside a van outside Caressa's Learning and Activity Center in Oakland Park. Investigators have not identified the child or said who was responsible for the children at the daycare, but forecasters said outside temperatures reached 90 degrees in the area yesterday. People nearby were devastated by the tragedy. Baby, can you imagine coming from work or coming from anything, you know, thinking you want to see your child and somebody tell your child is dead? I could feel her pain. I could feel the mother because I'm a mother. Two years of this, the baby, man. The tragedy in South Florida comes just days after a pair of one year old twins died after being accidentally left in their car seats while their father was at work. This is video the showing the children's emotional dad facing a judge after it happened. Child safety advocates are warning parents and child care providers that they need to always check the back seat to make sure this type of tragedy doesn't happen again. And last week, Consumer Reports called on lawmakers to support a National Hot Cars Act. Now, this measure would require all new passenger vehicles come equipped with standard equipment designed to help prevent child hot car deaths. No word yet on when this could come to a vote. I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.